Hey everybody, it's Music Therapy Laz here on uh, Thursday morning. We're going to be doing uh, our 4 o'clock Thursday uh, therapy Thursday, Music Therapy Thursdays with Roxy. Um, but today I'm going to do my quick VEDA in the morning here because I've been super busy. I haven't done any other VEDAs. I was hoping I'd get around to doing a couple of musical VEDAs uh, in the evenings, but it just didn't happen. And I, you can tell by the bags under my eyes, I'm trying to get some work done here. There's uh, a few things that my mom, who works for decorators in the... Uh, Tri-Valley area here who's been picking up some work as of late and she asked me if I wanted some of it and I said yes <laughs> So uh, what I got going on here believe it or not is a window shade that I'm actually uh, I got on my uh, Table here that I use in the studio. I usually roll it. That's why I like having this wheeled um, Studio table I roll it away from the window here And I can work on stuff like this and the sound trap designs things and all that kind of stuff that purple thing there That's the sound trap designs Guitar hanger, STDs musicians want. <laughs> you know, keep pounding that in until it sticks, you guys. Anyway, I'm having my second cup of coffee here. Uh, this is a cup that my mom got when she was in Boya. That's not Baja, California. That's Boya, Hungary. Or as we call it, Magyar Orsag. Anyway, so Veda number 30, because um, I skipped the last two, 28 and 29. And I just thought I'd show you guys this because it's kind of interesting. How to make a window shade is very simple if you're doing it out of fabric. Um, in this case, she had to add some pieces of material on because she couldn't get it in the railroaded fashion, which means that it goes lengthwise with the pattern. So she had to sew this on and that on and then put the lining, which is the white material. Here's the uh, regular colored material is this stuff right here. I don't know if you can see from that angle. I'm not going to touch the camera because I'm having issues with my, my tripod. See, one of the legs is uh, jacked up and it's not working properly. So anyway, um, so what I thought I would do is just show you guys how these things are strung up because um, she did most of the work on here and, well, I did a lot of it actually. Um, so what we have is we have these little rings right here. I don't know if you can see these little rings. Some people appreciate these little do-it-yourself things, but they're these little rings, right? Little white rings. And, um, and the strings pull up on the ring to pull the shade up. So I'll demonstrate that when I get to that point, but I have to put little hook eyes, that's these things, where the string is supposed to go. Before I do that, I also have to install, like you can buy these at any, like, you know, craft store or whatever, uh, window shade pull, right? So I'm going to install this on this right side because it's going to be a right-handed draw. You can't see where I'm doing it, unfortunately. But I'm using my handy-dandy power drill, Milwaukee, used to be made in the USA. Anyway, uh, so this Milwaukee drill, um, I go ahead and pre-drill pre -drill here because I don't want the screw to split the wood since it's near the end of this shade. So uh, I've got that pre drill I've got my little box of screws here, but I'm not going to really need that right away. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my awl, which is that kind of a tool right there. And I'm going to poke holes at where the, where the, um, these little hook eyes need to go. Right. So I'm going to poke a hole right here and I'm going to put it about center of where this thing would be going on here. Right about there. And I'm not going to go too far. And you don't need the pre-drill for these. Um, I also marked them already, so I, I marked it lightly with pencil, but the rings are like right here, every like seven, eight, nine inches or so apart. I think about, you know, it looks like about nine inches apart. And so I've already got it marked, so I'm gonna go ahead and poke those holes. I like doing these kinds of crafty things. Uh, my mom has always been a crafty, crafty gal, <laughs> crafty woman. Um, she likes doing, uh, she sews, she likes to sew, and um, yeah, her uh, her mom, of course, was doing that, and when they moved to America in the mid-50s, late, late 50s, I think is when they made it here, uh, wow, that thing kind of slipped through, anyway, um, that's, that's one of the things that she was doing for a living, she had a, a little studio, Irene's studio, in San Francisco and uh, famously uh, became a very very uh, well I guess famously 
my mom and my grandmother's stuff has been in countless magazines, Better Homes and all these kinds of decorator magazines, never with their name on it, of course, because the decorator's name was on it because they design it. They are basically the workshop. But like a lot of workshops, um, you find that the people making them often say, hey, why don't you try this or try that because your idea might not work or this might look better or whatever. And so, um, but um, yeah, my mom is... Uh, has a lot of stuff and in the bay area here especially where we live in the tri-valley area black hawk and other you know areas where a lot of uh artists and people that have money um you know i think i've met uh several several of the uh sports stars of the bay area live I, I actually did a pair of headboards or well, pair one each so one for the girl and one for the boy but they're twins but their boy girl twin um, of Buster Posey, the famous uh, face of baseball in 2016. San Francisco's own catcher of much fame, baseball. You guys probably don't know that I am a fame, a fame, a fame. I'm a fan. <laughs> Where did I put it? There it is. Let it hang it on my strap. That's right. Champions, San Francisco Giants. So I went to that, uh, went to a couple playoff games. Uh, I went to the parade, of course, uh, but winning it three times in six years, that's amazing. So uh, I actually built beds for Buster Posey's kids. They might be too big for them by now. I don't know. They were pretty big, pretty nice beds. And I installed them into his house, which was also very cool. I also built uh, a headboard and upholstered it for my... Um, mom through a decorator um for travis ishikawa another san francisco baseball player and and that's been pretty much it <laughs> I, I i don't do a lot of this kind of work i do it on occasion and uh you know whenever whenever my mom needs help my brother andrew is really the pro upholsterer and he'll he'll do you know really nice professional work um the stuff that i've done is pretty pro level too but um, he, he does a lot more. He'll take apart antiques and redo them and that kind of thing. So I don't do anything that, that fancy. I just, I, I like to do the building from scratch. You know, if you want something new rebuilt. I've done some seats. I don't know if you saw the pictures in my Instagram of some share seats to the uh, new kind of bar height um, table that we got. And we got some chairs and we didn't like the color, the dark gray kind of color of the, the seat cushions. So I just removed the seat cushions and I reupholstered them. So I just covered them over with a little more cushion. A little more cushion. Cushion. This is a Dacron. Just give it a little more cush and then um, covered it up with a different material. And they turned out really great. They look fantastico. So, yeah, easy peasy kind of stuff. As a matter of fact, um, I haven't had time, but I'm planning to actually make a window shade kind of like this one but with a little wood like some folds in it they call it waterfall i think style um for the window here because if i open the shades right now this is how bright it'll be too bright <laughs> and uh not to mention that these lever lure shades uh don't do anything for sound so i want to um i want to sound deaden too so um doing some heavy lined window shades will will definitely help in that regard Oop, where did i do it that one there it is. so uh, after i get these screw hole thingies in here the screw eye or hook eye or i don't know what they call these things screw eye hooks or screw, I don't know. screw eyes i think once i got those in there and i've got the little uh pull at the end and what uh, my mother gave me was uh, some, put this away for now, way over here. There's some of uh, the string that you see on the table here. So it's a special kind of uh, window shade kind of string. They use it for window shades. Brand new. The garbage can right here. So uh, now what I do is I have to string it up from the bottom, right? So the bottom here, 
right here has these hooks on the all these rings right here on the bottom too you see that so i have to go from the very far side first and i work my way let me get this chair out of the way pull this puppy out and i work my way from the the bottom side forward so you can see it's hanging down almost to the floor there Let's pull it up a little bit okay so what i'm going to do And somebody had commented that they kind of appreciate watching people work. Kind of is relaxing. So uh, enjoy. <laughs> I don't know why else you want to watch this, but uh, but I got to do a beta, and I thought, okay, I'll show you guys a little bit of some of the work I can do. Sometimes I'll make a couple three hundred bucks doing something like this. Okay. So you string it through the, the hook eyes, like that. Yeah. And what I should probably do, because this will be so boring. Well, maybe someone wants to watch it out. I don't know. If I, if I torch you all the way through the stringing of this. I mean, I really do need to learn how to use OBS and learn how to, um, how to, um, oh, jeez. I have to edit video so I can then edit video so I can then um, put things together, you know. Where in the heck does this thing go? Let's go like that. Is it possible to do one of them? I'm going to have to look at instructions. I don't want to look at instructions. Yeah, this is going to be way too boring for all you guys, so I'm not going to put you through the torture. Oh, I think that's just for the, the one single one. Okay, so now why you can just do it this way. It's weird. Yeah, this is going to be way too boring for you guys. So anyway, what I'll do is I'll throw up some pictures and maybe I'll do a video at the end of what it looks like when it's done. Until next time, music therapy allows Veda, day number 30, done and out. Bye. <laughs>